Philippine Navy OPVs lack anti-sub capability, only has limited capability against enemy vessels, I finally decided to release the pictures and videos of the offshore patrol vessel or OPV of the Philippine Navy or PN which I took during the Asian Defense and Security or ADAS event in Pase last year in October of 2024. I intended to release these much earlier, but it just got buried due to one reason or another. I'm releasing them now since I intend to discuss more about these ships at another time soon. Anyway, the first time I saw their scale models at the booth of the Hyundai Heavy Industries or HHI, I really admired how it looked, it looks fantastic and really modern, the ships are based on HHI's HDP-2200 design. Is 94.5 meters long, has a displacement of 2,450 tons and a maximum speed of 41 km per hour. However, as I got to examine it closer, I was a bit disappointed mainly because it totally lacked anti-submarine warfare or ASW capabilities. It has no torpedo launchers, and also doesn't have a hull-mounted sonar or HMS. This means that the ship lacks the ability to detect submarines on its own, nor does it have the ability to attack them when they are submerged. Also its anti-surface warfare or ASUW and anti-air capability is limited as it will rely mainly on its cannons, namely its 76mm caliber main gun and two 30mm caliber guns mounted on remote weapon station or RWS. Its Simbad remote control or RC missile system, the same ones being used on the Jose Rizal class frigates, will be mainly used against aerial targets, but it does have a secondary capability for use against ships also. It has no anti-ship missile or ASHM weapons of its own, I asked the HHI representatives then if the vessel has any fitted for but not with or FFBNW features, but they said no. This means that fitting ASHMs, torpedo launchers and sonars may not be easy since those have space, electrical, etc. Requirements that are not there in place, which I think is a big loss of opportunity as these will be some of our most modern ships once they go into service. It's possible those weapons and equipment may be fitted later, but I have some doubts about that because the PN doesn't exactly have a great track record when it comes to doing that with its ships. Our Del Pilar class vessels have been in service for around one and a half decades now, and they are still the gunboats that they were when the United States or US transferred them to us. The Tarlac class landing docks still have nothing more than heavy machine guns or HMG for their armament up to now, almost a decade since its lead ship went into service.